Hello everyone, good evening. This is Suman. My topic for today is Zika and PSLV versus GSLV. First, I will talk about Zika. Zika is an a virus, the viral disease is, um, is an emerging viral disease transmitted through the bite of an infected Aedes aegypti mosquito and it is also transmitted through sexual contact. This particular mosquito is also responsible for causing dengue, chikungunya, yellow fever and uh, West Nile disease. So it is important to note down these symptoms which are caused by the this type of particular mosquito. It was first identified in Uganda in 1947 as it was uh, isolated from rhesus monkey in Zika forest near Lake Victoria in Uganda. And now recent break, uh, break, uh, outbreak was seen in Brazil in 2014. After Ebola outbreak, this was another devastating disease which spread so much panic among the people, especially pregnant women. Uh, now looking into the um, Zika virus transmission cycle, uh, first the Zika mosquito, when mosquito uh, bites infected person and same mosquito goes to another person and biting that person causes uh, transmit, uh, transmission of virus or uh, infected mother transmi uh, transmitting virus through pregnancy. So uh, these symptoms are like fever, rash, joint pain, conjunctivitis, etc. So, particularly seeing symptoms, so babies are born with birth defects. Uh, one of the major uh, symptoms is microcephaly. It is a shrunken head as under, uh, an under, uh, underdeveloped brain and disorder of the central nervous system. Uh, as you can see here in this picture, baby with typical head size should be like this, but with uh, symptom of uh, microcephaly, the head is shrunken. And with severe microcephaly, you can see the impact of the disease. So, uh, another, uh, other neurological syndromes like Guillain Barrett syndrome, and it's a, it's a condition in which the immune system attacks the nervous system, sometimes resulting in paralysis. A majority of those infected with Zika virus disease either remains uh, asymptomatic up to 80% or show mild symptoms of fever, rash, conjunctivitis, body ache, joint pains, etc. So it is important to diagnose with this type of particular uh, disease with if any of these uh, symptoms are seen in our body and also acute onset of fever, you can see the fever and and this Zika uh, virus is found in amniotic fluid of fetus indicating it can cross the placenta barrier and get into fetus in the womb. So it is the major problem with this particular disease that Zika is directly affecting the newborn babies from um, mother itself. So what are the what are the tests taken? So it is uh, like a genetic modification leading to premature death means a new technique has been developed being like um, um, genetically modified male mosquito has been developed to mate with female mosquito and their offsprings cannot develop before uh, further on larva stage. So it will die before uh, going to passing larva stage. Uh, it is important to know that this Zika is only transmitted through female mosquitoes as you see and males are absolutely innocent. Uh, so it is important to keep the point that it is transmitted, uh, transmitted through only female mosquitoes. So this genetic modification has done to male mosquito to mate with female mosquito and their offsprings die. So another can be done is lifting the ban on dichlorophenyl, dichlorophenyl trichloroethane or DTT, the most powerful and effective pesticide against mosquitoes. However, this not be the case that uh, uh, lifting ban completely. It should be like available only for household users for uh, only for mosquitoes and usage of recently evolved genetically modified mosquito that can inhibit the growth of its own species carries a legal gene which causes its offspring to die before being able to bite human beings. This is another uh, type of uh, genetically modified mosquito as discussed above. This, this is directly when male mosquito mates with female mosquito 
it directly kills that female mosquito as as it is it contains a lethal gene means a, a, uh, which is uh, harmful to the female mosquito as it, as uh, as i want to say so next is keeping surrounding clean using net uh, while sleeping etc this is important as india is also shouting is such bharat abhiyan such bharat abhiyan so it is keep your environment clean and be safe and be healthy with context to india what what india uh, talking about india after the world health organization uh, world health organization designated the zika virus and its suspected complication with in, in newborn as a public health emergency of international concern the union health ministry of india has sounded an alert for zika and appointed the national center for disease control as the nodal agency for investigation for uh, any outbreak of viral in infection in india about the national center for disease control uh, it is an institute under the under the indian directorate of general of health services ministry of health and family uh, welfare it was established in july uh, 1963 for research in epid uh, epidemiology and control of uncommunicable diseases it was previously known as national institute of communicable disease now in, that's all about zika and it is important to know that with with respect to upsc we have to know that the what is zika uh, when was first uh, recorded what are the symptoms Oh, what are the what are the prevention methods and future aspects of the zika so next we will talk about pslv pslv is an is a preyed of india actually uh, it has which is developed by isro so uh, intro, we will look into introduction the polar satellite launch vehicle com commonly known as its abbreviation pslv so pslv is a polar satellite launch vehicle is an expendable launch system developed and operated by the indian space research organization isro it was developed to allow india to launch its indian remote sensing satellites into, into polar orbits and lower earth orbits and send synchronous orbit a service that was until the advent of the pslv commercially available only from india so whenever india wanted to launch a satellite or something like that it has to ask for other countries like russia to launch our satellites into the space so it is an important and milestone for uh, india as it started developed our own satellites launching uh, launching vehicle launch vehicles pslv can launch small uh, satellites into uh, small size satellites into geostationary orbit we, uh, we, we will look further that uh, Lower the lower the orbit and geostationary orbit are um, um, different orbits which are need different launch vehicles. PSLV was designated and developed in the early 1990s at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center near Tiruvannathapuram, Kerala. So it is important to note that in 1990 it was um, developed in at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center near Tiruvannathapuram, Kerala. the inertial system are developed by isro inertial um, systems unit at tiruvananthapuram i will go for fast because the time is going speed so uh, the liquid propulsion stages for the second and fourth stages of pslv as well as the reaction control systems are developed in the liquid propulsion system center at mahendragiri uh, near tirunelveli that is in tamil nadu the solid propellant motors are processed at such a satish dhawan space center shri shri arikota andhra pradesh which also carries out launch operations next the psv was first launched on 20th september 1993 but unfortunately it was failed and that was the only uh, failed mission of isro that um, by PS, uh, by launch psv psv continues to support indian and foreign satellites launch uh, satellite launches especially for lower earth orbit satellites now india is taking satellites from other countries to launch into the space now it has undergone several improvements with each sub uh, subsequent versions especially those involving thrust efficiency as well as weight on in november 19 uh, 23 it was used to launch the march 
Mars Orbiter Mission, India's first interplanetary probe. So, uh, Mars Orbiter Mission was launched by the PSLV. And now we, we, we all know that world record by uh, launching 104 satellites in single flight with our uh, only one satellite that is Cartosat 2 and other 103 satellites from our different countries, majorly from US. So, what are the composition of PSLV? The PSLV has four stages using solid and liquid propulsion system alternatively. Um, uh, it has payload of 1750 kg of payload uh, which can be put into sun synchronous polar orbit which is around 600 to 900 kilometers uh, of altitude. Uh, PSLV has the title that it is called as the, the workhorse of ISRO. Next, the first uh, uh, PSLV, as I told, it is the four stages of solid and liquid propulsion. The first stage consists of solid rocket motor that is augmented by six solid strap on boosters. We will look in further. Uh, second stage is uh, uses a Vikas engine developed by liquid propulsion engine system. Next, uh, third, uh, third stage is uh, solid rocket motor that uh, provides the upper stages with high thrust after the atmospheric phase of the launch. Next, Fourth stage PS4. The PS4 is the uppermost stage of PSLV, comprising of two earth storable liquid engines. Uh, payload to, as I told earlier, the payload to sub uh, just uh, transfer orbit is 1425 kg. It can carry this much amount of uh, weight. Due to its unmatched reliability, PSLV has also been used to launch various satellites into geosynchronous and geostationary orbit, like uh, satellites from the IRNSS constellations. Strap on motors means uh, PSLV is a six solid uh, rocket stamp on motors to augment the thrust provided by the first stage in its PSLV G and PSLV XL variant. However, strap ons are not used in the core alone version that is PSLV CA. These are different types of uh, PSLV uh, PSLV G, PSLV XL, and PSLV CA. Now coming to the GSLV, GSLV, uh, GSLV is a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle was primarily developed to launch inside class of satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbits. GSLV is being used for launching GS, uh, GSAT series of satellites. GSLV is a three stage launcher that uses one solid rocket motor stage, one earth storable liquid stage and one cryogenic in stage. The most recent flight of GSLV, the GSLV D5 laced in GSAT 14 into its planned orbit and marked the first successful flight of the, of the individual cryogenic stage. Earlier, GSLV had launched various communication satellites among which EduSat is notable. Being India's first satellite built exclusively to serve the educational sector through satellite based distance education. Uh, now coming into the composition, the payload of GTO is 2500 kilo, uh, kg and GSLV's primary payload are Inside class of communication satellite that operate from geostationary orbit and ends up placed in geosynchronous transfer orbits by GSLV. The PSLV is considered for remote sensing satellites and GSLV is for communicates, uh, communication satellites. And lower earth orbit, uh, uh, payload to lower earth orbit is 5000 kg. Further, GSLV capability of placing up to 5 tons in lower earth orbit is broadens the scope of payloads from heavy satellites to multiple smaller satellites. So you can clear from by the point and first stage of GSLV, GSLV is uh, same as the PSLV, the front-end solid rocket motor augmented by uh, here uh, four liquid strap-ons. In PSLV we have six strap-ons here, um, four uh, liquid strap-ons. Second stage consists of Vikas engine as uh, PSLV only and third stage is cryogenic upper, upper stage project. It is different from the PSLV. India's first cryogenic engine is developed by the liquid propulsion system center. Um, from Mahindra Giri, the four uh, liquid engine strap-ons is to heavier. So, coming into the difference between GSLV and um, PSLV, it is uh, there are five diff major differences. PSLV carry payload around 1750 kg, GSLV up to 5000 kg. It uses uh, PSLV uses six strap-on motors, GSLV uses four strap-on motors. Um, PSLV is a four stage engine, uh, GSLV is a three stage engine. PSLV earth, um, puts its uh, mainly used for earth, uh, earth observation satellites, GSLV is also used for educational satellites. PSLV can carry satellites to the lower earth orbits from uh, 
uh, like uh, six uh, six hundred kilometers to nine hundred.